Welcome back to the Boredom Rescue Overhead Edition, Overhead and Pressing Edition. Uh, <clears throat> you decided you want to get some, some weight overhead, um, maybe some jerks, maybe some press, maybe some push press, maybe some bench, uh, maybe some loaded push-ups. Who knows what, what it is that you want to do. Uh, we've got a warm-up for that. The focus of this warm-up is going to be trunk awareness. So when we get that load overhead, our trunk is pinned down, our shoulder girdle knows where our pelvic girdle is. That's what trunk awareness means. Uh, we're going to activate our shoulder girdle. We're going to get our shoulders warmed up and all of our rotator cuff warmed up. And we're going to get our thoracic spine, our mid-spine, nice and lubricated, and we're going to maximize our range of motion there. So, you're going to need a foam roller, you're going to need a dumbbell, and if you've got a PVC pipe, broom, or a band, bring those along as well. We'll start with the foam roller and we're just going to get some T-spine rolling. It's a good old fashioned T-spine rolling, which is no fun on a rumble roller. Get a big hug around yourself. Find that nice and stuck down spot and toggle. Bias the left, bias the right. Get that whole T spine from the top of the rib cage all the way down to the bottom of the rib cage. I like to get the side of my lumbar as well, just because I've got a matted down quadratus laborum or that low back muscle that gives so many people issues. I'm sitting all the time. That's my MO, so I roll that as well. You don't need a ton of time there, you just need to uh, feel some crunching and kind of feel some tension let loose. And also get your armpit with that arm with the arms overhead, arms overhead with a slight T spine roll in between your shoulder blades, and then your other armpit. There it was. This big crack. All right. Put that aside. You can use that again if you want once we work through some of this stuff or in between your sets when you're doing your overhead work. Um, we're going to do a bent lat stretch. So if you've got a doorway or something to hold on to, you can take your PVC, PVC pipe and just get a 90 ish degree angle and try to keep that rib cage tight. Don't let yourself. Get into this position while you're bent. I want you to be nice and tied down. And then get that stretch right in here. You can add some hip wiggle to it. You can even throw a leg back if you want. Couple deep breaths. Try to sink into that strip. Get that overhead position ready. Again, not a ton of time. Just feel a little tension loosen in those lats. It's usually your restriction point. Put that aside. You can use that again later. Uh, we're going to go back to our trusty EMOM. 12 minute EMOM. We got four movements. We're going to start with plank rotations. We're going to do roughly 20 seconds, um, 20 seconds per side. So it's going to be a elbow down plank rotation, and we'll get right into it. So you're on your side. You're reaching through as far as you can reach, and then you're coming open and squeezing your shoulder blades. This isn't about how many you can get in 20 seconds, it's just about how far you can reach and how hard you can squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then you're going to switch. Uh, 
All right, get some remaining time. Get some chest opener, big hug swings. And then we're gonna switch to half kneeling press. One knee up, one knee back, 90 degrees at each. And you're gonna press out on the leg that's back. 10 reps, little pause at the top. You can have the arm out to the side or on the rib cage as a reminder to keep it down when you're at the top. You can also use a band for this and hook it behind, hook it to the foot of the leg behind you. This is a Z press, making a Z with my elbow, meeting the dumbbell head at my shoulder. That goes down, transition into a handstand hold for 30 seconds or pike lower. Find that pike position, then you can lower three count and then press up. Lower a three count, press up. We're going to tripod with our hands in our head. Just 30 seconds there. I went a little long. Shake it out for that next minute. You got 10 seconds. We're going to do bird dogs. Focus with bird dogs, a big reach forward, toes stay pointed down, you squeeze that glute. Opposing limbs, left arm, right leg. Try to get eight per side. I get a little pause at the top. You don't tip like I do. All right, transition right back into those plank rotations. 20 seconds. A little long on the first one. That's okay. Half kneeling press. Ten per arm. You got too heavy of a dumbbell, scale it back to about six or eight. You don't want to be going toward a failure amount here. This should be relatively easy. So whatever rep count is easy enough for you with the dumbbell you got or the band that you got.
Take it out. Come back to those handstand holds or pike lowers. About 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Should be getting quite a burn in the shoulders at this point. After these bird dogs, we just got one more to go. Shake out those arms. Do some monkeys. Straight arm if you can. I'm gonna hit the ceiling here. I can't quite do that. About 10 more seconds. Get down to those bird dogs. Three, two, one. Try to keep your body in a tabletop so that your trunk is not tipping around a whole lot. And shoot for eight per side. If you can only get six. Or so in about 40 45 seconds that's fine leave yourself some transition time and we got one more plank rotation Perfect. Three, two, one. Go in here for 20. And switch. Switched a little early. That's okay. We're getting plenty more. So I did 15 seconds per, it's okay. I right, those arm swings, shake it out. 15 seconds, half kneeling press. I'm just gonna do six this time. Squeeze that glute behind you, weight up. Thirty second transition. That handstand hold for those pike push ups. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Last set of bird dogs. Going in 20 seconds.
going to 10. Three, two, one. There you go, there's your EMOM. Now we want to focus on some range of motion. So if you've got a band or a broom, we'll do that front rack prep. I'm going to do the band. So you can take a broom uh, and <laughs> grab <laughs> near the Grab near the end, let it hang with your arm rotated out. Sorry, I had to think about that. Hook it on the outside of your elbow and then give it some pull from this side. And my hand is holding on like that. I'm blocking the elbow. And I'm trying to find my front rack position here. I like to just do some circles. And some flexion. You do that on both sides. You can also wind up a band. Hand goes through the band, bands on the back of your of your wrists. You grab and close that band. You can have this anchored below you somewhere around knee or shin. You wind that up so it's pulling back, your elbows up overhead. Reach over the top, grab that elbow, and try to let that elbow depress or that shoulder depress downward. Some deep breaths there. Just let that shoulder depress and let that band distract the arm into the socket. For each of these PVC or broom and banded stretches, pick one or do both. Both won't hurt. And get 30, 45 seconds on each one on each side. And then move it prep. If you've got a rack, that's great. If you don't, you're going to have to clean it up. Also, no big deal. So if you're going to clean it up, you get that barbell, you get a little dip, and clean it up to the front rack position. Find a perpendicular to the ground forearm, elbow slightly in front of the wrist, and then unload it. Get at least one set of 10 or two sets of five with a pin glute, pin pelvis, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the tummy, chin goes back out of the out of the way, press overhead, head comes forward, head goes back as the barbell comes down. My grip is hands just about just outside of elbows. Um, play with that grip wherever that's comfortable for you. It's been a long time since we pressed. Push press, about a three to four inch dip. Press overhead, no re-dip. Push jerk, uh, three to four inch dip. Push, re-dip, stand. Dip, push, re-dip, stand. And any of those movements when you dip, knees go a little bit forward, 
and out, as opposed to forward and forward, forward and out. So you can see from the side, my knees just go this way. My trunk is relatively uh, upright. So when I dip, I don't come forward. I'm dipping, I'm upright, not pitched. When we push that weight, we don't want it to come out this way. We want it to go out straight, up straight. Uh, play around with your weight, because I know folks don't have a lot of denominations, at the low, especially at the lower end. You can play with some pauses. You can do a two second pause in the dip, two second pause in the catch, three second and three second. You can do a push press with a two second hold at the top and then a three second lower. Uh, that type of stuff will get your overhead position really, really strong. Um, you can practice uh, sets of Four sets of three, four sets of four, four sets of five, even to six if you've got much lighter weight, and play with um, play with your uh, pauses to find something that's challenging. Uh, next few coming up for general metcons: sprint metcon, middle distance metcon, and long distance metcon. Coming at you real soon.